Hi, uh, in this short video I'm going to show how you can use Excel macro files as part of the Power Automation Excel Online Connector. Uh, so what I have here um, in this lower half is a run script action which is part of Excel Online. And um, I wish to use a macro file to run um, an office script uh, against. But when I try to select the file here, let's say I go underneath here, um, you will notice that uh, it only brings up uh, XLSX files, whereas um, on here, on the same folder, I have uh, an XLSM file, a macro file. But, um, it, you know, using the standard connector, it doesn't allow me to select because it only filters out XLSX files. To get around this, what you can do is insert an action right before uh, the get file metadata. So this is part of OneDrive business. Um, connector but you also find this in uh, SharePoint site uh, sorry SharePoint uh, connector so what you can do is here you can bring up the same file you know you can select the same file here um, and then um, feed in the ID property uh, from the get file metadata and then you can save this and you can run it uh, so this is one way to get around it uh, but be sure to test this before you deploy it because there are some macro files um, that may have things like uh, ActiveX controls, it may have form controls uh, that may not be fully supported in the uh, Excel online. So make sure that you test with realistic data uh, as you will uh, encounter in production before deploying it. All right, thanks for watching.